thinking back to the time when we used to care. The headspace, Grand Square. Take it easy on me. It should be easy to see. I am Ray Owens with Square Dance Tech. When I build websites, I keep in mind the cardinal rule that the World Wide Web is a visual medium. Pictures of dancers with smiling faces should adorn your organization's websites. When visitors see your site for the first time, they should be greeted with those smiling faces. It's human nature to smile in response, even to a picture. And smiling puts your visitors into a receptive mode to read what you have to say on your website. While well, a picture is a good first start to tell a story in the 21st century, you do that with video. Taking pictures of your club dances is great, but accompany that with video so that your visitors get the feeling of being there. The video which has been playing in the background was a dance in St. Mary's, Ohio. Caller Ted Lazat was in town and he stopped by St. Mary's Tri Squares to call their Saturday night dance. With the video's combination of video and still pictures, this video could be a powerful marketing tool for folks who want to know what square dancing is all about. You could point them to this video and say, hey, we do this twice a month. Come on and learn. Now I'm going to show you the exact gear setup I use to record that dance. What is beyond the scope of this particular video will be video editing and posting to YouTube. I'm not going to cover any of that, all right? Before I get too far, let me state this. Having any video of your dance is a good thing. If you take your cell phone, throw it into video mode, and then just walk around recording a tip, and then post that online, well, you're way ahead of organizations who don't do that. So the setup that I use is a step or two above a single handheld cell phone. And it may be beyond the scope and cost you or your organization is willing to bear. I get that. But with that said, let me show you the gear that I use. You start with a tripod. Now I have four of these. These are Tyka, T-Y-C-K-A, 56-inch aluminum tripods. They fold up into a very compact, easy-to-carry unit. They cost about $70 on Amazon. On the tripod, I mount two cameras. One of them is pointed at the caller or cure. The other is pointed at the dancers. Now this gives me two perspectives. It's kind of boring to watch the same perspective all the time. You want to swap it up a little bit. Having multiple cameras allows you to do this. I use cell phones as my cameras, specifically Samsung Galaxy's S7 or S9s. Both phones have world-class cameras built into them, and because by now the cameras are several generations old, you can pick them up for extremely reasonable rates on eBay. For example, as of March 2023 on eBay, a brand new unopened in-the-box S7 costs between $120 and $160. Open box S7s are running between $60 and $100. S9s are newer, of course, and they have better cameras. On eBay, new S9s are going for $160 to $200 and refurbished ones from $100 to $160. Either camera will do an excellent job. To mount the cameras, you first need a mount that will allow you to put both cameras on it. I use the Udabit Dual Flash Bracket Tripod Mount. You can get a pack of two of them from Amazon for about $12. And then on the bracket, you'll need to put two phone mounts to hold the phones. I use Gear Fend Heavy Duty Rotating Universal Smartphone Tripod Mounts. They cost about $6 each on Amazon. Now, if you're recording a dance that lasts between two and three hours, if you fully charge the camera beforehand, and if you turn the camera off when no one's dancing, you can probably get by with this setup. Your cameras will most likely last those two to three hours. Recording video is a very battery-intensive process for a cell phone. So let me tell you about a few optional things. I'm sometimes at events where I have to record all day long. A cell phone battery isn't going to last that long. So I use external batteries. I use the Connexwan power banks. They run about $36 on Amazon. And they let a camera run all day long. Each one of these power banks have three USB ports. can power three different devices at one time. To keep from having to put that battery on the floor, I use an Essing Mill tripod stone bag. It fits beautifully on the tripod with Velcro strips, and it has three compartments. I slip the battery in there, it's off the floor, it's out of the way, cost all of $9 on Amazon. 
You got to have USB cables so you can connect the batteries to the phones. These can be picked up just about anywhere for just a few dollars. They're not expensive. I can get two six foot cables for seven dollars on Amazon. Finally, I have a Zoom H1N portable microphone recorder. Now, if you can get your cell phone close enough to the speakers, it'll generally record pretty good sound. But the HN1 records amazing sound, even if it's a bit distant from the speakers. The HN1 will set you back $99 on Amazon. To clamp the recorder to the tripod, I use a clamp mount double ball head adapter. It's all of $13. So, recap. Just the basics, okay? $70 for a tripod, $120 to $250 for cameras, depending on the cameras that you pick, $12 for a tripod mount, then $12 more for cell phone mounts, $200 to $300, depending on the cameras you're using, and then optional items, around $165 if you include the H1N, $66 or so without it. And with this setup, you can record some world-class videos for your organization. Even if you don't use the videos to market, dancers always like to watch themselves, even if they won't admit it. And members who miss the dance will get a kick out of seeing all their friends enjoying themselves. Have a good month. I will see you here next month. Slide through. Pass through. Bend the line up to the middle.